Hi everybody, this is Heath and welcome to Burcom's training guide for the building and setup of your Yealink 42S handset. First things first, we're going to go ahead and unbox this phone and get it built. We're going to lift the top of the flap on the box. First thing you're going to find is your quick start guide from Yealink. Set that to the side, you'll want to keep that for later reference. Then your handset itself will be at the top. We'll take that out. Your handset will be tucked away here in the top. Then down here below, you'll have your handset cord, your five foot patch cord, and the phone stand. So, the next thing that we'll do, take your phone stand out. We're going to turn the phone around, and on the back of the phone, you're going to notice that there's three prongs. The first two of these can be utilized if you want your phone to stand more straight up and down, and the top two can be utilized if you'd like it to lay more flat on the table. Slide it in, and move it to the right, and that'll lock that in place. Then you're going to take your handset cord, there's a short end and a long end to your handset cord. Just make sure that you take the long end, plug it into the far right side of the phone where there's a picture of a handset. You can then turn that phone around. Take the other end of your handset cord and plug it into the bottom of your handset. Your phone is now built next thing that you're going to want to do is find the port in the wall that you're using for your data connection to your phone. Follow the cord in that port and grab the other end and it should look like this which is a traditional ethernet cable. You will then plug that in to the back of the phone into the port that says internet. This will get your phone all of the connectivity it needs if you are utilizing your phone to also pass data to your computer, you can utilize the 5 foot pack score that came with the phone and plug it into the PC port in the back of the phone and then plug that into the back of your computer in order to pass data to your PC. Your phone is now built and should be powering on. If it's not, you will need to utilize a power brick that has been provided for that phone that will plug into the back where you will see a jack for your DC power option. If you have any questions or concerns about the phone, building or deploying, you can contact Vercom Systems at www.vercomsystems.com or 937-847-2550, option two. If you have questions about voicemail or the training on this phone, we will note those videos in the description below and also a card at the top right of your screen. Thank you so very much. Have a good day.